Windows 11 Home or Pro? Which one's right for you? I will show you the real differences live so you can choose with zero confusion. In this quick guide, I will show you the real feature differences, the security tools, whether it matters for gaming and the price. Before proceeding, make sure you have liked and subscribed ITPK and let's get started. Now let's start by confirming both editions. Here on the left you can see I am running Windows 11 Home and on the right I have Windows 11 Pro. You can check this on your system by going to Setting, System, About and then Edition. So what's the difference exactly? Let's look at this quick comparison. It will help you understand what each version offers before we actually test them. First difference is BitLocker. Windows 11 Pro includes full BitLocker drive encryption, which lets you lock your entire disk securely. You can turn it on, choose a password, or even save your recovery keys. Now let's see what happens on Home Edition. Windows 11 Home doesn't have BitLocker. Some laptops might show a simpler version called device encryption, but that only appears on a specific hardware that supports it, not inside the virtual machine like this. The next difference is Group Policy Editor. That's a tool IT admin used to control system settings across multiple computers. Group Policy Editor is included in Pro but not in the Home Edition. You can watch when I try the same command and Home, it doesn't open. So if you are managing system policies or the network rules, you will need a Windows Pro Edition. Now the next one is Hyper-V and Windows Sandbox that are built-in virtualization tools and great for testing apps safely. These tools only exist in Windows 11 Pro. If you are using VirtualBox or a VMware, you can still do VMs on home, but you won't have the native Microsoft ones. Windows 11 Pro can act as a remote desktop host, meaning others can connect to your PC. Here, I can toggle Enable Remote Desktop and in Windows Home, that switch doesn't exist. You can only connect to other PCs, not let others to connect yours. Now what about gaming? Good news is, there is no performance difference at all between Windows Home Edition and Pro. They both use the same core system, scheduler and graphic drivers. So if you are buying Windows just for gaming, the Home Edition is perfect. Now here is another key difference that is domain join. If you are in a school, office or any business network, this ones matter a lot. Windows 11 Pro can join a company or school domain or connect to Microsoft Intra ID. That's what used to be called Azure AD. It means that IT admin can manage your PC remotely, apply policies and push updates automatically. But Windows 11 Home cannot be joined to the domain at all. It only connects with a regular Microsoft account. So if your work requires a domain login or intra-IT connection, you must use a Pro Edition. Here's the one technical difference. Windows Pro supports more memory. Windows Home Edition supports up to 128GB of RAM, while Pro goes up to 2TB. That's only relevant for heavy workstation or server builds. Now, what about pricing? Windows 11 Home costs around $139, while Windows Pro is about $199 from Microsoft. If you already have Home Edition, upgrading to Pro is usually around $99. So now you must be able to decide that which one you should choose. If you are a gamer, student or regular home user, go with Windows 11 Home. It's lighter, cheaper and has everything you need. But if you are an IT admin, advanced user or work in a business with data encryption and remote access needs, just go with Windows 11 Pro. And that's it about today's quick to the point and simple video that explain you the differences between Windows 11 Home and Pro and help you to decide which one you choose. Please note that all the sources and official Microsoft links are listed in the description below. If this video helped you, make sure to like, subscribe and check out my other Windows tutorial. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.